let's check out the brand new song by Falling in Reverse. Watch the world burn first before we listen to that song. Let's get to the bottom of this. The Franz Ronnie Beef that has uh, reared its head once again. You thought it was over. You thought they left a the beef in 2013. You were wrong. It's back. Courtesy of our friends at Loudwire. Falling in Reverse's Ronnie Radke starts beef with Attila's Chris Franzak at Shiprocked. So, number one, we have Metalcore Cruises now. That's a thing. So, if you want to go see Falling in Reverse, Attila, and Varials, and a bunch of other bands on a ship, now you can do that. Um, so, there is that. <laughs> That's right. This is the 10-year beef anniversary. You know how bands will do a thing where they play the whole album, you know, from start to finish from 10 or 20 years ago. Well, I guess we're doing that with beef now. So here's what happened. But first, before we go any further, I would like to thank Neural DSP for sponsoring today's video. If you are not familiar with them, they make some of the heaviest plugins that you can buy. I have used almost all of them, and I can tell you from personal experience, they are absolutely incredible. <laughs> They've worked with Nolly from Periphery, Tim Henson from Polyphia, Gojira, and tons of other artists to bring you their signature tones. I've been using Amp Sims for over a decade now, and these are by far the best that have ever been made. My personal favorite is the Archetype Gojira plugin, but honestly, they're all great. And they make amazing plugins for both bassists and guitarists. And what's amazing is that for less than the cost of one high-end amp head, you can have a whole library of tones and effects. And and if you also want world-class synth sounds, well, they've got you covered. Just check out Archetype Rabia. So if you want to check out Neural DSP's plugins, and again, I highly, highly suggest that you do, they are great. Just hit the link in the description of this video and use the code PUNKROCK for 30% off any of Neural DSP's plugins. That is a great deal. Once again, that is coupon code PUNKROCK for 30% off any of their plugins at the link in the description of this video. So here Here's what happened. Ronnie apparently called out Franz on stage. You fucking poser! So this grown man is still butthurt about something that I said in a song 10 years called ago. Called Franz a poser. And the best part is... Because, uh, I guess, because Franz had that song, The Call Out, like 10 years ago. Even Ronnie talks shit on my Instagram. Give me your address so I can hit you with a mic stand from 2012's The Call Out. So there's... There's that apparently, and then there's I don't even know what more the fuck TikToks you said. I going back and forth. I just woke up the next morning and someone came up to me and said, Ronnie Radke called you out on stage or something like that and was looking for you on side stage. I said, I, I wasn't even fucking there. I was asleep. A lot of people ask me what I thought about this, and uh, and here's what I think. I think, Mom and Dad, stop fighting! Stop, stop fighting, guys! I just want to be normal! Oh, I just... Stop fighting! I just want everything to be normal again! Ah. That's what I think about it. That's what I think. Come on, Ronnie. Franz. Let's just agree to disagree. I don't know who called who a poser. I don't know... I don't know what it's all about. Let's just put this behind us. That's what I think about the beef. Come on, guys. Mom and dad, stop fighting. That's what I think. More importantly, I want to listen to this new song. So let's check it out. The thing that I want to know, I haven't listened to this yet, is what is this song going to be? Because whether you like his music or not, Ronnie has really reinvented himself many times over his career. Obviously coming out, I suppose everyone knows this, but in case you didn't, he was the original vocalist of Escape the Fate back when they were kind of one of the biggest scene bands. They came out doing the, you know, post-hardcore scene kind of thing. He got kicked out of Escape the Fate or quit or I don't know what it was when he went to prison. Came out, started falling in reverse, um, which initially kind of sounded like Escape the Fate. But then he uh, started doing a lot of like rap inspired stuff, like adding rap parts to his songs. And this was in like 2013 when nobody was doing that. He's got everything from ballads to like breakdowns to rapping parts to, you know, pianos. I mean, really, he's sort of like Bring Me the Horizon where you never know what's going to happen when you listen to a new Falling in Verse song. So I don't know what to expect from this. All I know is apparently the end is crazy. I haven't watched it yet, but apparently that's what it is. So let's check it out. Okay, again with the crazy effects budget, shout out to the people at Epitaph for footing the bill. I mean, is there anybody in the scene with better videos than Ronnie? And I mean, this shit's not cheap. All the CG and stuff, so shout out to Brett and the people at Epitaph for paying for it. I got voices in my head again. 
tread carefully. I got problems, I got issues, yeah, apparently. Trauma that I'm burying, I think I need some therapy. Okay, well, um, I will say, so far, it's kind of uh, starting with some rap stuff. And uh, I personally, I don't think rap is Ronnie's strength, personally. Um, but... I do like, you know, that he is continuing to work on himself. I think he's done and said some things over the years that I'm sure he would agree were, you know, maybe not, um, maybe in hindsight, he might've done some things differently. What I like is that he continues to work on himself, even though, you know, he's very successful now. And a lot of people would be like, fuck you. This is just who I am. I don't have to change. If you can't handle it, that's your fucking problem because... You know, I'm a big rock star now, fuck you. And what I like, you know, this song is Ronnie saying, hey, I got some stuff I need to work on. I think it's cool. I'm back with a message. I'm asking the question that if you hate me, why you acting obsessive? I'm telling you motherfuckers, I'm yeah. I, oh. I was expecting some genting. Ronnie jumped out of the plane. I was expecting a gent drop. I didn't get it. You know what? This does sound like MGK. It does. The MGK Eminem type flow. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is Nas been real quiet since Ronnie dropped these bars. That's all I'm saying. It does sound like NF. And I know Ronnie's a big fan of NF. I can't understand what he's saying there. All I know is he's rapping fast. Ronnie is the, he's the, the scene bust of rhymes. To get rid of me. Evil tendencies are fucking with me mentally. Falling in animes, yes. How come nobody in anime falls normally? They all fall like, you know, they land in this pose with like their fists down, you know, like in the ground. Why does everyone in anime fall like that? I don't know. I should start falling like that. Like next time I trip on my shoes or something, I'm going to fall like that. And then I'll look up at my wife like, you know, that sort of menacing look. This is my new favorite cyberpunk dlc when does this come out when does the falling in reverse dlc come out because this looks fucking cool can't wait to see the side quests i like those synths mm. scene rap god here i would like to comment on the lyrics here but i can't because he's rapping so fast that I cannot understand them. Otherwise, I would. I would like to. I did hear a lyrical something. Lyrical, typical something. He almost had a lyrical, spiritual, miracle, individual moment. Or maybe it was in there. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Okay, interesting. So now we, we had a little bit of a, a queen interlude. And now we're going into the punk part. Okay. Sebastian Bach. Okay, I think that's who that's supposed to be, right? This guy is not nearly gorgeous enough to be Sebastian Bach, but I get it. How do you cast? Do you guys know how fucking pretty Sebastian Bach was back in the day? Back in the 80s? I mean, look at this motherfucker. He is one hot mama. That's right. I'd hit it. I would. A country milf. That's right. <laughs> Back when Sebastian Bach was a country MILF. <laughs> Her husband's deployed. He won't know. She's getting really lonely. Just come over while he's deployed. So this guy, you know, there's only one Sebastian Bach, but they did the best they could to find a Sebastian Bach lookalike. And hit him with something, fell out of the sky and killed him. Oh, a laptop. So you remember, um, I, I think I know what this is a reference to. You see, it's a laptop. And you remember a couple months ago, there was this whole thing where Eddie Trunk, which is the guy from that metal show on VH1 or whatever, for whatever reason, he decided um, that uh, he should start beef with Ronnie Radke over the fact that Falling in Reverse used laptops for backing tracks and the laptops got lost. And so they had to cancel a couple shows, blah, blah, blah. And then Sebastian Bach got involved somehow as well. And whatever, it was the Rock Boomers versus Ronnie saying, well, you know, real bands don't use laptops, blah, 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 which of course is total like nonsense because everybody uses laptops everyone uses backing tracks but that's what this is about i see so they uh struck down sebastian bach with a laptop the irony oh how the turn tables now who's laughing the turn has tabled okay 
Okay. Kind of a cool solo. Watch the world burn! Watch the world burn. Here's the breakdown. We got our genting. The gent rap god. Uh-oh, now he's levitating. Sir, his power level is over 9,000. I've never seen Chakra this strong. There's nothing we can do to contain him. Retreat. Who plays guitar for him now? Oh, look at that. Ronnie Radke shooting lasers out of his eyes, striking down his foes. You thought you were going to call out Ronnie for using a laptop? Oh, you would have chosen your words much more carefully if you had known the fate that was waiting for you where Ronnie would shoot lasers out of his fucking eyes and burn you to a crisp. You'll think twice next time. He's been saving up his chakra all day for this. Literally watching the world burn. There we have it. Watch the world burn by falling in reverse. You know, what I appreciate about this, again, the rap stuff is, is, in my opinion, not his strength. I don't prefer the rap stuff. But objectively, you know, I think it's really cool that there's basically like, what, three or four genres in one. There's like the punk part. There's the rap part. There's the gent part. There's the sort of symphonic stuff. And uh, I think it's cool that, you know, he's always pushing the boundaries. And the other thing that I, I really like is that when Ronnie puts something out, it actually feels special. I talked about this in a video the other day. You know, we were listening to some other songs and watching some other metal videos earlier, and it's just like, I don't know, so much of the metal stuff that's out there now just doesn't feel special or interesting in any way. It doesn't feel like they pushed themselves to do something different. It just feels like they wrote something that sounds like all their other songs. And then, you know, they did a video of them in a grungy warehouse because they just don't really have any other ideas. And yeah, like it's super entertaining, even if you don't like him, even if you think Ronnie's a douchebag. And even if you think that his music sucks, when he does something, people pay attention. And to me, that is what I really respect about what he does more than anything else. Like it's so hard to get people to care at all. You know, it's so hard to make your song feel like an event. And he does that, you know, like this is what number 29 trending on music, which for basically a solo artist who also is almost 20 years into his career now, like Escape the Fate started in what, 2004, 2005. He's only gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think the reason why is because there's nothing about this video that's half-assed or the song for that matter. You can like it, you can dislike it, but nothing about it is half-assed. Like he always aims big, you know, he takes on a lot musically he takes on a lot creatively in the videos as well you know i really i really respect that he puts in the effort exactly it is fully asked fully asked there's nothing half-assed this is fully 100 percent fully asked uh so there we have it that is watch the world burn by falling in reverse and all i have to say is you know ronnie franz please just stop fighting i want i just want things to go back to normal i just want it to go back to normal come on guys please please oh. all right so there it is shout out to ronnie and uh, also shout out to the people at epitaph and the people who made this video shit is very well done shout out to all of them just stop fighting guys dad can't handle it